Secret Invasion Episode 2 has just dropped. Are we still in? Are we not? It's time to talk about it. Let's go. What's going on, everyone? Welcome to Club CXFM, brought to you by WeAreCritics.com, a place where we talk about movies, television, pop culture. And if you're into that kind of thing, make sure you hit that subscribe key and that notification bell so you can be up to speed about everything that I talk about here. Now, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, Secret Invasion Week 2, Episode 2, is now available on Disney+. Plus, And I'm here to talk about what I thought about it, uh, let you guys know if I'm still in, if I'm still on board, or did this thing just kind of fall off uh, and... Uh, I got to be honest, um, I'm still locked. I'm still locked, uh, and I'll tell you why. Uh, this episode, Secret Invasion, episode two, which is titled The Promise, uh, it definitely delivered some things that a lot of us have probably been wondering. Um, you get a very, very tiny, detailed, but brief um, ex explanation on what the scrolls have been up to between Captain Marvel and post-Endgame. Um, I thought that that was very much needed, and the explanation for me was pretty cool. Um, they made it very personal for, for Nick Fury, uh, in a sense, where you kind of understand the motivations of the antagonist uh, in Kingsley uh, Benadir. Um, you kind of understand the position that the scrolls are in. Uh, gives you a little bit of emp empathy for the, uh, for the invasion, so to speak, um, especially if you're, you know, anti-government, anti you know, what's going on here in our own planet, um, then you'll kind of empathize with what's going on with the scrolls and their connection to Fury and why the invasion is taking place in the first place. Kind of what I what I picked up um, as I was watching the series. Um, one of the best things about this episode, and I got to tell you, I told you this in, in, my, in my episode one uh, review, my favorite character in this show right now is Olivia Coleman. Like, I think that she just brings us a, a certain kind of seasoning to this thing that just keeps me engaged, keeps me happy, and kind of, I don't know, she just keeps me on my toes. Like, I love her character and what she brings. She's very colorful and very, like, just maniacal, but in the best possible way. Like, I can watch her character do her thing in this whole thing. I hope she's in every episode. I hope she makes it through. Um, but for, for people making it through, I think the chances may be slim uh, in this series. Coming right off of what we saw in the end of episode one, um, spoilers, by the way, um, Maria Hill, you know, uh, Kobe Smolder did not make it through. Uh, they make that very, you know, they stamp that in this episode going forward, which I'm kind of okay with. I mean, at this point, she wasn't really doing much, you know, throughout the MCU, but kind of being you know, watching Fury 6, watching his back. Uh, and and that kind of raises stakes in the series because now it's like he doesn't have anyone watching his back now. So what does Fury do when the one person he could always trust is now off the, off the board? Uh, and they, they used it. I was talking with my guy Mayhem who put that in my head. He was like, they're going to use it to catapult, you know, Fury's comeback. And I was like, you know what? You're probably right. And he, and he was right. They did that. Um, so... Along with hoping that Olivia Coleman makes it, I kind of hope that Talos makes it, but I don't think Talos may make it. And I'll give you a couple of reasons why. Uh, one reason is because where else do we go after Secret Invasion as far as the scrolls? We can't have scrolls forever because that, that imminent threat is too, too Avenger level. And I don't see them revisiting this like they used to do with Hydra. So I can see that the, 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 the storyline of the scrolls ending within the Secret Invasion series. Second, uh, second, two. Um, uh, Amelia Clark's character, the daughter of Talos. Um, Gia, Gia is her name. We need motivation for her to switch. We already see that seeding. We already know that at one point she's going to become either an ally of Fury um, or going to be like a double agent for Fury within the Skrull Nation. And I think that losing her dad as well as already have lost her mom would be a good turning point for her uh, in the series. At least something happening to him. So I feel like Talos is not going to make it through this series. You guys let me know what you think about that. Um, but other than that, I thought there were some really cool nods to the cinematic universe. We get a couple of name drops outside of Captain Marvel. Things going all the way back to Winter Soldier. Uh, we get a great one-on-one -on -one with Fury and Rhodey. Um, something much needed because we haven't really seen them interact within the universe. Uh, Rhodey is kind of showing his ass. Uh, he's uh, 
he's a, he's put on his big boy boots in this in the series and um kind of gives it to Fury in, in, in a great way. Kind of, you know, pushes the character a little further. I like that. There's a lot of things going on in this episode that I really enjoyed because it's not just bang, 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 let's get to the punch. It's kind of building around Fury and building, you know, setting stakes and consequences for everything that's been going on and talking about things and why they are the way they are today. And I like that. I like that grounded storytelling and character building of things that, you know, we may not know about or should know about. So I think that this episode, episode two, I think it, it, it's it's a little better than the first episode. The first episode kind of introduced us to things, set us up for what's to happen. But this one is still seeding us along the way. And I, it hasn't lost me. So I'm very, very uh, excited to see the third episode. I will, however, say that the ending of this episode was not my favorite. Um, I feel like, I hope they don't just be hold, keep holding on to these reveals. Like, you know, oh, this is a scroll and, you know, does Fury know? Does Fury know that the woman that he's, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's too much. I'm, I'm giving spoilers. So let me stop. But there's just a lot of, I hope there's just not a lot of reveals that they use as like cliffhangers or things like that. Like, I, I like the way that uh, episode one ended. It ended it so unexpectedly. I did not see that coming. Um, but this one was a little weak. This was probably the weakest ending uh, uh, out of the two episodes that we've seen so far. So I hope they kind of step it up with the cliffhangers. Uh, going forth other than that guys you guys let me know what you thought about secret invasion episode two titled the promise uh very great title by the way um for what goes on in the series um this episode um let me know what you guys thought did you like it did you watch it are you excited to watch it have you not watched it yet drop a comment below like comment share make sure you subscribe and for more movie news television news and pop culture check out wearecritics.com and i will talk to you all later